Hello my soccer universe. Uh, this video is inspired by a comment on my channel that really, really ticked me off. And it doesn't happen very often. I typically get very positive, very constructive comments. I enjoy that a whole lot. This is actually what fuels me to keep going and keep doing the videos. I love doing this, but if I get that feedback that I usually get, and thanks to you, the viewer for this, I do it even more often. But uh, about a week ago, I got a comment on one of my uh, videos, and it was even a short video where I didn't mention the word soccer, where it says it's football, not soccer. And it really, really, really ticked me off. After a really short exchange with uh, that particular person, uh, where I saw that uh, he is not even considering an alternative view, I just blocked the view. This is very, very what I typically do with negative. If someone is really being neg negative, block it away. Don't deal with it. I don't need that negativity and I usually can deal with that relatively well. As I said, it doesn't happen that often. However, this one ticked me off so much. For a day, I mean, it took me two days to really uh, come to it. And then I have my stance on it that I will uh, explain to you in this, video, in, in this video. But I also realized it ticks me off for the simple reason that I have been that person. I have been that ignorant person myself. And I think it warrants a little bit larger video on the term soccer itself. Why is this term soccer that comes out of nowhere and is especially for non-English speakers, definitely for non-English speakers, uh, not fathomable? Why is this game that we all love that is usually called something like football in many other languages, whether it's be football or football, um, or to say just a few, uh, Spanish and uh, German, why is it especially in America or called soccer? Because there's no foot and there's no ball. And my ignorance was it that uh, when I heard this, and I remember, remember this, it was an English class in high school, I heard for the first time soccer and I said, this does not make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, it's the Americans that don't like uh, my football. I, I, I call it now, uh, it's football, the German word. They don't like that. So they uh, use some derogatory term for it. Boy, was I wrong. This American invention. No, it is not an American invention. And... It is so funny because while I was living in America, I subscribed to a great magazine that I still regret that I don't subscribe to it anymore. But um, at the moment, I don't have the time for, for reading. But it kept me going, kept me in touch with the game. Because yes, when I moved to America, I could follow through the internet very, very well. But it was you could see that I found people that liked soccer, but never to that level that I was into it and why I'm doing this channel. And in the news car it was usually very minor. And if unless something really egregious happened, like you know, 2005 San Siro in the Champions League quarterfinal, or uh, the Danish fan uh, invading the pitch and attacking the Swede, that was usually what was happening. Unless it was a World Cup, and so, so you could watch, but it was not to the level that that I wanted. But I was subscribed to the magazine World Soccer. I didn't think much of it. This was a great magazine. I saw it was published in England. And then there was an edit ed ed editorial note exactly on, on the topic and said, why are we calling it soccer? And we have been calling it since the foundation of the magazine, which I think goes back to the 50s or 60s. So a really, really long time. And it was written there at first that actually soccer is a term that originated in England. American term and what's even better is that you know I told this then to my American uh, friends who kind of said so we are right to use the term soccer because they all felt very ashamed and you know American soccer fans usually feel very intimidated by Euro Europeans you know this um, Americans have sometimes as grand as they can be when it comes to typically European things they are very self-deprecating especially when it comes to soccer and I really want to use this word now as often as possible. I told me it's an English term, you can use it. Because this magazine, that is, I think, one of the best English-speaking magazines. Yes, it's a monthly magazine, but it's really 
for me a standard or it was back then a standard uh, with great writers that I still follow on podcasts. This magazine is called World Soccer. It's, they used the word soccer as an English antiquity, but an English term. Where did it originate from? What does soccer stand for? Well, we have to go back to the beginning of the game. There have been many ways. I mean, football, if you go through the his history, there has not been codified or whatever for a long time. It was in the mid-1800s that the Victorians kind of called codified and then there was the big question. Can we use hands or not? The rugby school used hands. The rest, that was part of the football association, said, no, nah, hands should not be used. It is, it is a football, we should not use hands. So we had the two main codes in England back then, that one being association football and rugby football. And then some Oxford students in the 1880s came up with, you yeah, know, it's a whole lot of mouthful to say, we are playing association football, we are playing um, rugby football. And especially association football is really, 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 really hard to, uh, to uh, speak up and to and to to be honest, for me it was also because you know I knew about American football when I went to to America. I thought, how should I call soccer for me? Because I didn't want to use soccer. I came up with the term international football, but you know, um, never really caught on. So what did these Oxford students do? They shortened it. Rugby became rugger. Association football became a soccer, shortened to soccer. So to distinguish between rugby and association football, they used soccer and rugger. Then, of course, the game spread further. You know, I mean, there was always a connection towards the American, North American continent, towards the Australian continent, that all then developed their own football codes. And this is for me one of the most fascinating things about the history of the game, how this game uh, has so many variations. And you see also in Ireland, I mean, there is Gaelic football and so on. So there are so many codes, all of them needed their own name. And some were more popular than others. In England, association football became the standard, although, you know, they are still the upper class playing uh, rugby football and putting a little bit more higher moral value on it. And the Rugby World Cup is on, on, on going something that I actually follow with some interest. Uh, but since uh, association football was the working class game, this is the one that became most popular and spread all over the continent. Whereas in America, you know, at Yale and so on, they developed in their own version of rugby football that morphed into American football. And I imagine a similar thing happening in Australia, especially Australian rules football, that was actually used as a winter sport between cricket. And so in order to differentiate this all, we needed some names. And to be honest, football is kind of a catch-all phrase for all of these sports. The only places outside of the English-speaking world, it is not there. Football, 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 and, and so on. It's very clear. This is the one sport that we call soccer. However, in an English-speaking context, with all the different continents, the only one that is clearly identifying the game that I love the most, that is soccer, association football. It goes even to, to the point that in my workplace, I work for a sports data uh, company that we don't use football. Football, we say American football, and for association football, we use soccer because it is a unique identifier that can be used. Now, I understand because I've been there, not English speaking, we're not understanding the hist history of the game. You might be inclined to say this does not make any sense. I do agree with you. But most of the things that don't make sense, there's usually historically a reason for that. And instead of sneering at a perceived American dominance, and yes, America is very dominant in our cultures. There's no doubt about that. But it is not American ignorance or American dominance that uh, spreads the word soccer. No, this is, comes from the very nation that invented the game. And I'm using soccer, A. My soccer universe, I think, sounds a little bit better than my football universe. It rolls easier off the tongue. And in addition, I have an audience. I mean, I could do this in German. 
But I decided I'll do it in English. And in English, I don't want to only focus on Britain. No, I've lived in America. I want to have it a little bit more unique and that it's identified. This is soccer that dad we're talking about. And by this point, we should all agree, soccer is the proper term. Now in my videos, I also struggle. Sometimes I use soccer, sometimes I use football. Uh, it is clear within the context of my video which sport that I'm referring to because if you click any of my videos and you think I'm talking about American football, I think you're wrong. I could talk about American football. The NFL season star started. I also follow the NFL with high interest. And it's very natural for me to say football to Americans. I know exactly what sport we mean. I don't call it great iron. However, here I do. In a uh, Austrian context, if I say football, it is clear because we have football and football, but I usually say American football. It is always for, for, the, for, for the context. So, if you feel the urge to correct me on my usage of the word soccer, and I know the vast majority of you, I'm <laughs> preaching to the choir here, you don't care and you accept this. But if you watch this video and you think that soccer is the improper uh, term to use, Please, go and educate yourself, either with, with this video, and think about why the word soccer is being used. And I'm here to tell you, soccer is a proper and uniquely identifying name for this game. And therefore, it is a very, very useful term. It's also short term, in, in, in a way. So yeah, I also, you saw, I put the poll poll up. I want to say at the moment, the vast majority of you have, of course, identified Great Britain as the origin, not Australia, not the United States. Uh, although 25% said the United States and 13% said Australia, but it is a term that came from Great Britain. And that I find very interesting. In any case, I hope I could clarify things a little bit. I want to pin this, as I said, as featured videos somehow because I think it's important. Why do I use soccer? And I will keep using the term soccer. And if you don't like it, too bad. Any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did so. Leave a comment below what you think, think about it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!